Namaskar, hello and a very warm welcome to CIT NCRT's live phone and interactive program. And this is a very special program, Sayog, Guidance for Mental Well-Being of the Children. Here we discuss a topic that is related to the mental health of the children. And uh, today we are going to topic, uh, discuss the topic, Practicing Positive Mindset for Good Mental Health. So all the children who are watching this program, if you have any questions, any queries, then please simply give us a call on our number which is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine अगर आप हमें email करे अपने सवाल तो वो भी आप कर सकते हैं उसका भी option है सहयोग dot ncrt at the rate cit dot nic dot in इस वक्त आप हमें लाइव देख रहे हैं ई विद्या चैनल नंबर छः से लेकर चैनल नंबर बारह के माध्यम से और साथ ही साथ हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पर भी जो कि है एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल उसके लाइव चार्ट बॉक्स में भी आप अपने सवाल लिख कर हम तक पहुंचा सकते हैं दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी नेसेसरी प्रोग्राम वे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द पॉजिटिव माइंड सेट एंड we are definitely expecting your questions so we have two experts with us let me please introduce you to our experts my first guest is a dr tahseen taj a very warm welcome to you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am is an assistant professor from regional institute of education mysuru ncrt and we also have with us a practicing counselor and she is mrs lakshmi prabha jk a very warm welcome to you to ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you uh, both of you for being a part of our program and uh, before we begin this discussion i have a very important announcement to make and that is regarding india's g20 presidency well um, well uh, we are extremely proud that india assumed g20 presidency and would convene the g20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year that is 2023 a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india's g20 president would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family with that announcement let's just begin our program our discussion on practicing positive mindset for good mental health so to understand this topic let's just understand what exactly do we mean by positive mindset let me please request dr taj to uh, help us in understanding the definition of positive mindset and also ma'am can you tell us how students can practice this during their examination ma'am yeah uh, well thank you so much for introducing this topic and all since we are discussing this examination related and uh, we think that this good mental health is very important for the students these days so dear students now you are going to attend the exams and uh, this is a very important topic we should stay very positive isn't it so let us understand first what is positive mindset or positive thinking towards the examination so because what you can uh, you are going to face the examination that should be in a very smooth and uh, uh, well manner uh, a positive mindset it is nothing but optimistic attitude that is a practice of focusing on the good or any situation so it can be have a big impact on our physical and even mental health also so where in any situation like in examination or in life yeah. so we uh, when we are as a positive thinkers as as a positive thinking it it can be a uh, impact on your mental as well as the physical aspects also so positive thinking means approaching life's challenges with a positive or like positive mindset it doesn't necessarily mean that avoiding difficult situation but whenever it is the difficult situation also that is how to face this situation it is most probably we will talk about that so instead positive thinking means making the most of all potential obstacles which trying to see the best in our other people in ourselves and even weaving ourselves our, and into your abilities in a positive light so uh, like when we talk about believing ourselves so believing in yourself is and having a faith in your ability to do something can often be a tipping point between the success and the failure so when it comes to exams having that positive mindset is very important so before you go to into the room it will be help you feel that easy ease and more able approach questions productively uh, it, it is not like that how i can so there is a anxiety uh, anxiety anxious about the examination how i can face this examination 
exam will be difficult or uh, I have not studied well properly and I, I, I'm thinking so this kind of negative aspects of negative thoughts will be kept aside so this is what just positive mindset can do wonders for your confidence in the examination hall so just positive thinking most of the uh, like it is a potential what are the obstacles that you will be faced yeah exactly you can do that so dear students make sure you have done the right kind of studying the time like this doesn't mean just you are reading the notes all the books at all throughout the day or throughout the night so you must practice uh, previous examination papers or if you are unable to complete any part of any questions when you are answering the past paper don't just ignore it like you can take a friend uh, take a, a help from a friend or try to contact your teachers so uh, you can have a uh, focus on that difficult questions also so instead of this spending of time all about worrying uh, uh, what i can do these three three hours how this examination will be so instead of thinking all this about just focus on about your positive thinking and it can be a good for you so uh, i'll just give some of the uh, inputs for that how you are be a very positive mindset during the examination and all like first one you can see as a positive image a positive imagery means taking ourselves as a positive picturizing yourself as a positive i can do it well i will do this i can do it better i can perform this better in my examination so spending the time in imagining as a positive experience this will also help you to manage nervousness and you are picturizing yourself i can do it better so i am then better than uh, others also so like you can picturize yourself as doing well it will be more effective than telling something uh, what you are doing thinking positively for a few moments or uh, everything before exam so just it is can be a hard work so it should not be affected this which will be boost your own mood and uh, you can remember your previous best so not at all like when you are going the examination right now you are thinking that what i can do is at all how best i can perform so even you can consider your previous best uh, whatever the examination you have given so far so thinking about your own previous experiences take it as a positive experiences which will help you to improve your confidence level and remind yourself as a successful man in the examination and to feel more confident about your upcoming work so this is a, a, a like kind of a meta cognition type you are thinking that how good am i how best am i this exercise you can do it so i hope these are all the very simple uh, procedures and the simple steps that we can follow whenever we are going for any examination preparation you know and you remind yourself of all your preparation whether i have done proper preparation whether i have proper source or not and even what are the sources i am preparing whether it is enough for my examination level how well you are preparing that is what it is considered remind yourself yes it is i have prepared and all focus on your uh, 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 on yourself and don't compare others so like in some uh, uh, examination time you are going to write exam tomorrow and just don't look at to others how others are studied or i have not completed this portion i have not done with that particular uh, portion or something don't just bother about that have a confidence about that don't compare about uh, others so their confidence will be depend upon those others around them it is not within their it's a control so there is a stressful it will be it might be at that time it will be increase a stress for you and uh, you can uh, you can uh, overcome your setbacks too so that is what as your uh, overcomes are there Uh, you can just helping or uh, encouraging yourself it will be a good for that so see the exams as a challenge not a trick so usually we will say that celebrate exam as a, a festival so we are uh, you know one thing when uh, festivals are coming we will enjoy we will get ready uh, we will prepare ourselves we will decorate ourselves isn't it so like that enjoy the examinations as a festival like see the exam as a challenge not a, not a threat it is not a threat it is a challenge so that means you are showing yourself what you are it is an opportunity to give your success so this in this type of stress and all it can be a decrease 
when you have a, a good positive mindset this is what about uh, uh, about the positive mindset and positive thinking towards the examination Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. That's actually a very wonderful perspective uh, to look at that uh, if we see exams as a festival or as a challenge and not as a threat, I think students will do great in the examination. And positive uh, mindset is definitely important and you gave uh, certain simple and easy procedures how uh, one can practice. So, um, let's just proceed further and I would like to ask Lakshmi ma'am here. Ma'am, so um, positive mindset uh, uh, can be followed very easily very very simply but uh, will it help uh, the children during the exams and how uh, would you like to tell us in detail yeah yeah sure into that so um, we all know very well that uh, positive mindset is a key for everything in this ever changing world so especially for students to have a positive mindset uh, during their preparation for exam or for doing any other task this will be helpful for an all possible ways. Uh, let me explain one by one. We have got a uh, few points for a better understanding. Uh, first thing, it will be helpful for them in their academic performance. So the students with positive mindset always will be motivated, focused, and they'll be having much confidence. So uh, each and every academic task is faced with motivation and having some focus on it and with confidence that will improve their academic performance. When the students are having positive mindset, their academic performance also will increase. The next one is increase in the resilience. The students who are having positive mindset, they'll be bouncing back to the task. For example, I'll say uh, a student has faced a difficult examination or their exam grade, their marks are very poor in their exam. In that situation, they will not dwell in the past. They will not think and worry about the failure. They will think, they will keep this as an opportunity to realize where they are and where, what are all the areas they have to work. They will take it as an opportunity and they will bounce back to their uh, situation. So actually it improves their resilience power. Um, next, it will improve the better mental health. You know, uh, when people are, uh, the recent research says that the stress and the anxiety is the result of uh, poor mental health for, for students. So when a person is uh, staying in a positive mindset, that reduces the stress and anxiety. So it improves the better mental health of the students. And then uh, maintaining the, to maintain a better relationship with the people. You may wonder how the positive mindset will help for the better relationship. You know, uh, the positive mindset students will approach every situation and um, uh, uh, every people with a sense of kindness and empathy so that will create a positive ambience between people and particular situation so that will lead them to have a better relationship with their peer group in the classroom with their teachers and as well as with their family members so this is much important for students and then it will increase the creativity of people you know uh, when people are having negative mindset always they'll be in the anxiety and stress Whatever task has been assigned for that, they will, they will not able to complete the task in a particular time. So, when a positive mindset people approach a task, they will be, uh, uh, they'll be having, they'll be in a relaxed mindset, which will give them some additional time to think out of work and come with the creative ideas for doing the task. So, it will increase the creativity of the people, and then they will be a better decision makers. So uh, when your mind is relaxed, when you are uh, when you are excited to do the task, uh, you will be you will be uh, taking a positive decisions, uh, and you will not depend on anyone to take the decision. The choice will be yours, and you will not uh, you will not worry for the consequences whatever may be coming out of the task also. So you will be uh, taking it as a challenge, and you wanted to face it. So in that way, uh, the positive mindset students often will take their decisions on their own for personal as well as for the academic aspect. It will be helpful for that and improve physical health. So I told you uh, the positive mindset people will expect, uh, will uh, approach each and every aspect of the task with a sense of excitement. So this excitement stimulates the hormones which will make keep the body very happy and healthy. So this will have a improved physical health as well and better time management. This is much, much important for students. 
uh, the students who are having positive mindset, they will think and they will prioritize their work. Uh, how much I have learned in that particular subject, how much time I have to spend for, for the preparation, uh, depends upon the difficulty level of the content for the exam preparation and uh, uh, keeping their um, uh, uh, keeping their preparedness for the examination, keeping all those things, they will be prioritizing what they have to learn first and what has to go next. And uh, they will be fixing the achievable targets. It's not having motivation, I like science and tomorrow I have my science exam, I have to finish all the chapters in overnight. It's not that. They will be fixing the achievable goals and they will be maintaining their time properly. They will assign for this particular talk in this particular time I a task, in this particular time is assigned and I will be completing my task within that stipulated time. So by doing this, there will be a better time management, they will be having better manage time management. So these are just few of the points for students to keep in mind. But positive mindset will have any number of uh, benefit for the students. When they are practicing these skills in their day-to-day -day life, they will be, they'll be improved in their academics as well as in their personal life. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Like you said that uh, there are multiple benefits of positive mindset and I'm sure when uh, students start practicing uh, these mindsets, they are going to uh, realize that they are actually beneficial and uh, it's very good for their mental health and not just for during their exam preparation but otherwise as well. Yeah. But ma'am, the question arises that why particularly positive mindset uh, needs to be followed uh, by the children um, and it is the key to face any exam. Why not anything else, maybe rest a little more or eat healthy, uh, why just positive mindset? Uh, Dr. Taj, would you like to highlight certain points regarding that please? Yeah, sure madam. So this is when we are talking about the positive mindset, positive uh, thinking in an examination and all and now just we have uh, listen so many points from the Prabha Madam. So she has given like it is for to academic or mental health, creativity and everything. Yeah, it is very important. So when we are just when when we think about that examination, we we are think I just told you it should be you should pictureize yourself, keep yourself calm, and first thing you should keep a positive, keep a positive. I can do it. I will do it. Uh, whatever the exams are, whatever questions are coming, I will be uh, representing all these questions or I am attempting this question. First of all, think that I can do this. Have a, this kind of attitude towards you. And don't just rush for a last minute revision. Avoid this revision. So like so far you are studying a whole year or semester wise, month wise, whatever that preparation you are doing, keep it well. So don't just for uh, revision and don't keep all the things in the last moment revision. I can do just hurry while you are just going through that all the books and notes or the resources what you have. Rather than it all, you can form a, uh, uh, all these can be in a one format or you can keep it in some more uh, uh, like uh, you are giving as a point or something, note making you have done or something. You can just revise it. So last minute revival, you just you just avoid it. Distracting yourself with the mental tricks. So such mental tricks like and for example, uh, uh, just I can guess, I can use some logic in the examination, or I do, uh, and even I can pack up this all these things. So like for example, using of stationaries and all, rearranging of all these something. So don't just focus on these things. Avoid some of these kind of mental tricks. So doing something that takes your head away from those the negatives and all it will be free uh, that you should be uh, uh, free at the time of examination so focus on that what you have studied and and you think that i believe yes i can do it and i have read uh, well for what my examination i needed and, and, and even you are getting support and uh, uh, enough support from your friends and the teachers and the family too Yes, there is a, uh, a very uh, good part in the role of a family, friends and the teachers and all. So even when you are putting yourself through the pressure of an examination, it is it, it is like bad enough. Like, but doing it alone, it can seem like a nightmare, is it? So let those also, like family also supporting you, friends also supporting you and teachers also let them support. So if you are disturbed, if you are not well, get into interact with those persons. Tell what what is your problem and don't get distracted. So let those closest to you what you want to tell are, uh, for example, 
uh, about your health or you, how you are you are feeling during the examination or have you completed and even you can chat or interact with your friends or those who are the closest friends so if you are not if you are stuck somewhere in that uh, study area and all you can have a group discussion also so uh, uh, if you uh, your loved ones can help a child loved one, loved one can help to relieve all these problems surely the child will can be a uh, take up as a uh, better performance and he will feel much much more better and relax so that it can be also impact for the positive mindset for the mental uh, health of our students yes ma'am okay thank you thank you so much ma'am uh, now it makes the picture a lot more clear uh, that uh, for facing any examination for preparing uh, for any examination positive mindset is uh, extremely necessary so uh, let's uh, um, ask uh, lakshmi ma'am here ma'am uh, are there any tips for the children to keep in mind so that uh, you know they can maintain the positive mindset uh, while they're preparing for the exams and also during the exams yeah yes definitely uh, there are a couple of tips where students can follow during their exam preparation okay. um see to start with i'll say the first thing is focus on preparation mm. so what happens better at the time when okay. the exam schedule is prepared when their students come to know when the exam is exactly Okay. they start wasting their time and worrying a lot uh, lakshmi ma'am uh, i'm sorry i'm interrupting you here uh, but your camera is off could you please uh, switch it on so that we can see you while you're talking i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah um lakshmi ma'am is there any uh, issue yeah yeah i guess uh, i mean it's on i don't know why i'm not visible i'm just trying to do that no issues no issues your audio is visible so we'll go with that yes okay okay fine shall i proceed yes yes please yeah yeah yes so uh the first thing is they have to focus on the preparation from the day they get their syllabus from the day they get their timetable they get to be more anxious they get to be more nervous on thinking about like how the exam is going to be how the result is going to be rather than worrying on it the students exactly have to start preparing for it they have to start focus on preparing where they are left how much they know and how much time they have to spend for their preparation that is the first one the next one practicing positive self talk talk rather than uh, thinking about their previous performance previous bus performance maybe they got very poor marks in the one of the examinations rather than thinking about that they should talk to themselves that i can do that compared to the previous time i have prepared much better this time so i can do it much better than previous performance so having the positive self talk will help the student to stay in a positive mindset during the preparation and the third one is getting plenty of rest during the preparation it doesn't mean they have to close their book and sit for rest it means like nowadays due to the use of lots of gadgets the screen time is increased and the sleep time is reduced to a larger extent that has to be avoided during your exam preparation or any time uh, throw your phones or gadgets couple of hours before you going to sleep and have a good sleep at least for 7 to 8 hours a day and then this will be helpful for the person to uh, the, for the students to rejuvenate what all the concept they have learned it will be very helpful for them to uh, uh, remember everything and present it properly in the next day exam and uh, the other thing i would say is to take a frequent breaks uh, so every 30 minutes of preparation the child can take a student can take a five minutes of break so that will uh, that will give them positivity and they will again get the energy to prepare further for half an hour like that having a frequent breaks during the preparation will be helpful for them it will be helpful for having a positive mindset during preparation and then eat healthy meal now is what happens to students who are preparing hard for their exams what they do they tend to avoid sleeping during preparation they'll bag a couple of snacks and they'll keep it with other them aside every time when preparing they'll keep munching on it but it will be it will have negative impact on their preparation instead when person, when students are having very healthy and nutritious food that will uh, that will help the person to take positive health wise as well as well as the mental health wise 
everything will be very positive and they can remember their things and they can proceed better in their examinations. And then visualizing success. You know, Tashin Ma'am has already mentioned about it. Again, I would like to say visualizing the success. Every day when you're preparing, before you're preparing, just spend a few minutes on this. Just as if, for example, you're just walking into an exam hall and uh, uh, you just visualize this, you're walking into an exam hall and you saw the question paper. All the questions what you are prepared are there in the question paper and you're giving exam with high confidence and you're getting better grade. Every time when you're preparing, before, when you're practicing this before your preparation, this will help you to maintain your positive mindset for the exam preparation. And taking a deep breath. I already told about taking break between the preparation and obviously it's a point of preparation will get that anxious, the stress and nervousness. At the time, you can just close everything, can take a couple of deep breath and relax. This will allow you to gain positive energy and rework on what you're doing and then stay calm and focused. So uh, though you had a lot of preparation, you did so much from past so many days you did preparation and then when you're facing examination though you encounter a difficult question paper the, you, you, not, you should not panic and you should not lose what you have learned also so you should think in your mind like what are all the efforts you have taken how much hard work you have done what are all the things you have prepared stay calm for some time and think about all those things you will be getting some better ideas to present yourself and finally, celebrate the small victories. So, I definitely, I'm sure, like while you're preparing for your um, examination, you'll be referring a couple of uh, previous year question papers, and you'll be referring a couple of uh, uh, the question banks. Those times when you're preparing, when you're able to give answers, when you're able to give correct answers for those questions, you have to give a sense of motivation for yourself. You should appreciate yourself. You should feel very proud that I have given answer for it. The question may be big or small, but you were in the position to give answers for the questions in those question paper. And try to get some small, very small rewards for yourself. So this will, this reinforcement will motivate you to keep going further. So when compared to the exam preparation, these are all the some tips which will help you for uh, uh, which will be help you for stay connected, uh, uh, stay in positive mindset and prepare for uh, for your examination. Yeah. So these, I hope these tips will be helpful for you. I'm sure, I'm sure um, the, these tips, they're going to be helpful for all the children uh, and these tips are really um, very helpful for everybody, uh, even if we're, they are preparing the exams or they're not, like uh, rest enough and uh, eat healthy, drink healthy and focus, concentration, uh, those are some wonderful tips uh, which we need to follow on daily routine. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for both of you for being with us, for uh, uh, discussing this super important topic, which is practicing positive mindset. Thank you. Thank you so much once again for taking our time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the children as well for being with us. I really hope that you enjoyed this particular program. And if in case you have missed it, you can watch it on NCRT official. That is our YouTube channel. So we are wrapping up our today's programs right here, right now. But uh, tomorrow we'll come back again with more programs on Evidya channels. So please keep on watching them. And uh, if you haven't, then you can watch the earlier programs on NCRT official. All the programs uh, get uploaded on our YouTube YouTube channel. So thank you so much once again. Please take care of yourself and before leaving I'll um, once again give you the announcement we generally do these days and that is regarding India's G20 presidency. We are extremely proud that India assumed G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the pragmatic global solutions and uh, as it seeks these solutions for the well-being of all uh, will manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. With that announcement, thank you uh, once again and take great care of yourself. Have a good day. I'm Tanvi Khurana. I'll take a leave of you. Namaskar.